everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, and today I'm going to be doing my May wrap up. Let's get going. I know this is like so late. I'm normally usually good with this, but June has been so busy with work, you know, outside of YouTube, because it's tax. Every June is tax, and all the people are getting the payments in. It's like, it was stupidly busy. But, uh, yeah, so now that is over, I can finally do my wrap ups and all that fun stuff. Um,. I think I mentioned that I only read one book or something like that for me, and maybe that's why I never did it, but I was actually just scrolling through my Goodreads and I found I've actually read more than one book, so that's why I've been doing a very late May TV art. Let's get going. And it's been a while, so I have forgotten what most of these books are about, so yay let's go so my first book is lady tan's circle of women by lisa c according to confucius an educated woman is a worthless woman but tan yun shan born into an enlightened family yet haunted by death separations and loneliness is being raised by her grandparents to be of use her grandmother is one of her one of only a handful of female doctors in China, and she teaches Yuan Jian the pillars of Chinese medicine, the four examinations, looking, listening, touching, and asking, seven a man can never do with a female patient. From a young age, Yuan Jian about what learns about women's illnesses, many of which relate to childbearing, alongside a young woman, young midwife, and training. Meaning, the two girls and f find fast friendship and a mutual purpose despite the prohibition that a doctor should never touch blood while a midwife comes in frequent contact with it. And they vow to be forever friends, sharing in each other's joys as well as no mud, no lotus, they tell from adversity and beauty can bloom. Also, if you hear background noises, that something is going on, on like the building or cross from me, so. I don't know what kind of event is happening, but they're just singing and dancing and all that stuff, so... Yeah. I even have to close the window because you can really hear it. So, yeah. You can still hear it. <laughs> but anyways, um, I gave this a 3 stars. Um, it was a slow pace, for sure, which I really don't like when books do that. It just takes forever to get what they needed to be. And I think the author had more of a look. I know research and it kind of learned me in a long way. I don't know, just, it didn't really sit right with me. It's like, okay, we get it, but you don't really have to brag about it. I don't know, maybe just, maybe just me. There was a lot of info dumping with the plot being so thin. I feel like there was barely any plot in this book. It was just a lot of info dumping all at once and I didn't just get overwhelmed. When that happens, it just doesn't have that nice balance, so that's really unfortunate. Um, the book would also some, be something tedious, and there wasn't really character development. I was not really invested in the two ladies' friendship, me, the midwife and Lady Tan. Like, I just didn't really feel any connection and growth between them, so I couldn't really care about what happened with them, so... And the ending honestly left me underwhelmed. Um, I think it could have been better and just, I don't know, and it just didn't feel like an ending. So I'm kind of like, wait, what happened kind of moment. So I'm like, I don't really know why, but I just don't really like the, how the ending was. My, my next book is Hotel Magnifique by Emily J. Taylor. So this is like a YA fantasy set against the backdrop of a Belle and Pokey inspired hotel which follows a 17-year-old Johnny as she uncovers a deeply disturbing sequence of the legendary Hotel Magnifique. So I gave it a 3.5 to 4 stars. The book was really boring at the beginning and even though in the book itself actually turned a lot darker later on, I did like how the author pried off the story shining paneling to reveal the rock underneath it. So I thought that was like really well done. But it can, but it eventually did got tiring and repetitive because she was constantly doing that and it just kind of ruined the element of surprise kind of thing. The magic in the book wasn't really explained on how it all worked and the story wasn't really dazzling or dreamy, it was just kind of felt flat. I never liked the ending scene, I thought it wrapped up way too quickly considering how long it took for us to get to the actual ending and then the ending just finished it just like that. So I'm like, 
Wow, okay. Um, I really like the lore that was in the book, but the details and the unanswered questions wasn't really fleshed out. And she could have given us some more details just because the lore was really fascinating, so I really like that. I didn't really like Zoza, and since she appeared to be one dimensional, my journey was okay. I really didn't want any more details about the hotel itself just because it just sounded so intriguing, like dark secrets, you don't know what's happening. It all sounds so fascinating, so I really wanted more of the hotel itself <laughs> rather than the characters, in all honesty. But, uh, yeah. But honestly, I think they all just missed the opportunity to bring ho the hotel to life. But it was also a really cool idea and just didn't really execute properly. So it sucks, but yeah. And my next book, this is like the final series, like the final book in the series in the, of the Hades and Hades and Persephone, and that is A Touch of Chaos by Scarlet St. Clair. A fight for humanity and battles between gods. It's a war Persephone will never touch you and see. To end the chaos, she must draw upon her darkness and embrace who she becomes. Goddess, wife, queen of the underworld. Once Persephone made bargains to save those she loves, now she will go to war for them. So I gave this a 4 stars, maybe a little bit of 3.5 as well. Just because there were some things that kind of left me scratching in the end and like what's going on. <laughs> I think it was still a good conclusion to this to this series, however I do think some places were rushed. They were definitely rushed. Like the fight scenes were too short but the lead ups and in betweens were long. They were super long and like the fight scenes are like only like, 4 pages. I'm like, wow, okay. <laughs> Like the Labyrinth chapter and plotting of the funeral games, they took forever. But like the actual games, it only happened quite literally four pages, so that really sucks. <laughs> um, this series was fun, but it's definitely repetitive at times. I also feel like Dionysus and Ariadne's so storyline was, wasn't quite finished. There were still some questions unanswered from Dionysus and Ariadne, such as what happened with the baby. And I honestly think the storyline, their storyline came too late. I really think it did, just because it didn't feel like it was completed. So, that sucks. Um, the fight was, oh my gosh, this is so stupid, I don't know why. But like, the fight with Zeus and Hecate was really disappointing. You mean to tell me the all-powerful god Zeus was just, you know, gone just like that? I'm like, dude, come on. Zeus, we're talking about Zeus here. The almighty powerful Zeus, you know? And he was just off. I'm like, what? <laughs> I honestly expected such a big fight between Hecate and, and Zeus, but no. But Zeus was just gone in one page. I'm like, oh, she definitely did not do Zeus justice at all, because it should not be finish like that so quickly. Like, that was just mind-blowing. I'm like, so it's like, <laughs> I don't know, I just, like, it's Zeus, you know? Oh, like, there's quite really no epic fight between those two, and, uh, I don't know. Like, there were just barely any fights between them. That was really disappointing. <laughs> But, and another thing was that Zeus offered like an award to arrest Persephone and bring him and bring her to in chains. But at, no one really did it. Like no gods and goddesses ever did it. So I'm like, I wonder what was the point of cloning that in. Only for people not to actually do it. So it kind of seemed pointless that it was just there. Um, I also there was also wished more for characters' deaths because that was just pitiful. I half expected like, like half of the main characters to die in the final battle, which never happened. Spoilers. But I honestly expected more main characters death. I know it just seemed too happy ending, go lucky kind of thing. But like, dude, you were just fighting a war. Like, well, come on. It's time for authors to actually kill characters off and leave them dead. Come on, you guys. If I can do it, so can you. Sheesh. Ugh. But yeah, honestly, yeah, the ending just seemed a bit too happy for my liking. Like, it should be bittersweet, in all honesty, but... 
Yeah. Well, it was not a fun read. I, looked, I did like the series. I thought it was great, but there are just some things in there. Like, I still noticed the houses was able to be finished off just like that. I don't know, but that was severely injustice for Zeus. So even though I don't know, I don't like him, but it should have been more epic in all honesty. And my final book is Breathless by Amy McCollich. And did it ever left me feel breathless? And not in a good way. So this is like a high altitude thriller that would take your breath away. Mine certainly did. Again, not in a good way. So Cecily Wong is on her most dangerous climb yet. Miles are above sea level, but their elements are nothing compared to one chilling truth. There's a killer on a mountain. Uh, so I gave this 3.5. It was okay. I think the book did really felt sluggish and underwhelming. The book was slow, and I never liked the characters, especially Cecily. Oh my god. I also wish she died. I really did. I'm sorry, but I also wish she died. Like, she was so annoying and whiny. It was ridiculous. Like, I don't know. I still don't know what age she's actually supposed to be, but oh my god. It was a nightmare reading about her. So, and the rest of the characters weren't any, any, any better. So does that. <laughs> And the pacing was odd and underwhelming. It was an atmospheric read, but it had too much details. It really did. It kind of threw off the balance of the story. Uh, some of them, some of the plots felt overwrought and required to be proven of my disbelief. Cause some of them was just like, how does that make sense? Kind of thing. So like how Charles. So spoilers. Like one of the disbelief moments was like how Charles went all the trouble over writing Cecilia into his team so he could have a way of thwart, of thwarting do dog. So, yeah, that was just really stupid. <laughs> the ending could have been better since it, since, so the ending could have been better since the amount of, uh, like, has been spent on a climax and the showdown. I honestly felt rushed. I uh, mean, didn't really see the villain. Like, the villain, we didn't really see the villain have some sort of punishment. Which sucks, like, yeah, you can easily get it must still happen, but I wish we actually saw it. And not just kind of brush off to the side kind of thing, so... I really wish the author actually included what his punishment was, but... What a... What am I to judge? <laughs> I wanted more closure and certain aspects of the plot to be a little redundant. Again, spoiler... Well, actually, this is not really a spoiler, but... Uh, um, one of the redundants was a Count Cecilia's relationship with her boyfriend, which honestly had nothing to do with the plot, so I don't know why that was there. Um, but I did like how the author knew about mountain, mountain tearing, all those terminology and knowledge. That was really cool to me, so kudos to her to, and knowing what she's talking about, because that was really cool. Pun intended. <laughs> so, yeah. That was, it was really cool to me to know about that. And that is my last book for me. So obviously May was up and down. I didn't quite had a lot of fun reading in May. So yeah. Um, I think most of them was on audio book. I think there was like one or two that had physical books. Yeah, uh, let me know what you had read in May. And please like, comment, subscribe. So you'll be notified every time I post. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!